In the realm of 3D modeling, creating a mesh for a human character model is always hard. I, I don't know, I've never done modeling. Okay, jokes aside, it'll be very convenient for 3D or even 2D cinematic to incorporate an auto-generated model just through a pre-existing drawing or picture. Like, how long do you usually need to make a 3D human model from scratch? 2 hours and 30 minutes? You could still use a pre-made one, but people would still probably prefer to use their own human models. So let me introduce you today to Pifu, an AI that is published by Facebook Research, which was trained to recognize humans in 2D images and reconstruct them into 3D models. And you know how practical this AI is. It even outputs a .obj file, and you can easily import to any software to use them. The most impressive part about this AI is it can construct the back of the human model without any information about it. Like, it knows how to continue a dress around the body, clear lines between the ankles and the shoes, and more. Well, you still might think this is not as accurate and does not have a clear cut at all sometimes. But actually, this saves a lot of time because now all you need to do is to edit this 3D model to whatever you want yourself. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can clean up these edges. And and this is what I love about AI. It saves time and money for people so we can direct our focus into making something else more brain required. Like when anime production feels lazy, you can easily use these models and just color them on top. So when they do use the classic shitty CGI thing when the anime characters are afar, they can easily breathe through the hassle of making 3D models. Okay, actually I don't think me promoting this method is the right thing to do. <clears throat> but I am actually surprised at how well it works on some of the anime characters. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So it is normal when you play around this AI and get weird or cursed results when you are inputting less realistic characters or humans that are not in a standing pose. I mean because the AI was trained on humans in a standing pose so it makes sense why it wouldn't work on other positions. But if you want to, you could train a new model with a different positions too. I'm not too sure if they are going to provide the training code soon though. And compared to other versions of translating 2D images to 3D models. It shows how much better this new Pifu is, and how it is able to extract clothes and facial details. It even generates the details at the back too, which is amazing. If you want to play around with this AI, I'll link their collab down in the description. Installing a local copy is a bit more difficult, and I suggest you should run it on collab instead, because I struggled quite a bit of time setting it up. If you have any questions, join my Discord channel i mean you don't really need to have a question to join too so feel free to click on the link follow me on twitter if you haven't and i'll see you all next time